How's it going everyone? T-Shirt Booth here again and today I'm going to show you how to use the accelerometer. And I've created a uh, labyrinth type style game, uh, something basic I just threw together. And I've already set the rules on the walls in the background. But um, we're going to go into the ball and we're going to set the accelerometer rules. So let's create a rule up top and it's going to be an attribute and you can find the accelerometer under devices accelerometer and we're going to start with the up position so we're going to want to use the X and we're going to make this less than negative 0 0.1 and the reason why we're using 0 0.1 and not 0 is just because we don't want it to do anything on 0 we want it to start doing the motion once it's the accelerometer is active um, so we'll leave that at 0 0.1 now for testing purposes we're going to add another rule here and we're going to go when key up sorry up is down it's also going to do the same motion um, so that way we can demonstrate it working and we're going to want to make sure we switch this to any uh, if we keep it at all both these rules would have to be um, active in order for our uh, for this to work so we'll go ahead and we'll put an accelerate and we're going to tell it to accelerate up at 100 and I'm going to call this up. It's always good to name your uh, rules so you can come back to them later if you need to. I'm going to shrink this here. I'm going to press the alt option, drag underneath and duplicate it. Now this will be down and we're still using the X for the up and down but this time we're going to tell it if it's greater than 0 0.1 and then I'm going to go ahead and switch this to down and then we're going to switch the direction to down and we'll go into a preview and I'll just show you when I press down it goes down when I press up it goes up and uh, that'll work when you're using the acceler uh, accelerometer on the iPhone or the iPod touch also so let's go ahead and do our left and right I'll just copy this and again that's with uh, alt option click and drag and now we're going to switch accelerometer to Y and for left we're going to want it less than again zero or negative 0 0.1 and I'm going to switch this to left and the direction to left and then I'll rename this and now we'll make one for the right direction so we'll call this right and for the right direction we still want it Y but we're gonna go greater than 0 0.1 and we'll switch this to right and the direction to right now when I hit preview you'll see we have our down our up and then our left and right And then when you try that out on the iPhone or the iPod Touch, um, the accelerometer will move in the direction you're tilting your device. And then you can obviously go in and speed things up if you want it to go a little faster. We could put all these to 200. 200. I'll preview again. As you can see, it goes a lot faster. So it just depends on um, your game speed and what you, uh, what you want to accomplish. But that's pretty much it for the accelerometer. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the forum, and I'm sure somebody will be happy to help.